Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this preview of Saturday's game against Manchester United at Old Trafford. One of those sort of fixtures that you look for when you get back into the Premier League. You know, you look for the top teams and the top away days. And this is the first real big challenge that we've got away from home, I think. We've had winnable games against Leicester and West Ham so far, coming away with three points from those first two games. And this game now feels like... It's strange because it feels like we could get something from this game. It wouldn't be a massive shock like it would have been in the past if Wolves do beat uh, Man United. Although it is a long shot, uh, the odds are against us. But the way that we've been playing, the way that we've been consistent in our performances and the way that we're building, this is feels like it could be uh, a watershed moment for this Wolves team. We've seen over the last few weeks players like Doherty and Cody become more at ease in the Premier League. We've seen the class of Patricio and Moutinho and Neves in our team and it's just that final third. If we can get that working on Saturday, I can't see any reason really why we can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manchester United like we did with Man City and possibly upset the apple cart a little bit. Now as for the team with Wolves, there's nothing really to talk about because it's going to be the same team. We know that it's going to be the same team. Patricio, Bolly, Bennett, Cody, Doherty, Johnny, Neves, Moutinho, Jota, Thingy, Jimenez and Costa. I think Jota's, for me, is on his last chance really. I think he has to perform against Manchester United and I'm backing him to do so. I think that he's got into those really good positions and he just is lacking that little bit of confidence, that little bit of cutting edge that we saw at times in the Championship. That chance against Burnley when he was through on goal and should have shot tried to square it, the ball sort of fell loose, didn't go right for him. Costa's looking better and better as well. Jimenez just needs that little finishing touch that, that will set him up to be a top, top striker in the Premier League. I can see his effort and his work rate and his movement is tremendous and it gives us that little bit of extra edge. As for Manchester United, they have had a few issues at home, although they did they did beat Leicester 2-1 in the opening game of the season. They then really struggled against Tottenham, losing 3-0 in that fixture. They have sort of recovered a little bit from that with wins against Watford and Burnley, and then in the week against Young Boys as well. But let's remember the Wolves beat Young Boys 4-0, and Man United only managed to put three past them. So there's definite reason to be optimistic with Wolves, but I think some fans are getting a little bit carried away with consecutive wins, which is understandable. But really, we've beaten the bottom two of the Premier League so far. We're a much better team than West Ham and Burnley. People have suggested that we could possibly finish in a Europa League place. But let's take it a step at a time. If we beat Man United, Lord knows what some of the Wolves fans will be thinking on Saturday evening after the game. Let me know your thoughts about the game on Saturday in the comment section down below. If you're going, I'll be there. I can't wait. It's only my second visit to Old Trafford, the first being that famous or infamous Mick McCarthy game where he dropped all those players and we lost 3-0. But hopefully we'll be coming away with a few more smiles on our faces, even if the performance is just, you know, good. <laughs> I think we'll be happy with that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.